All right, I'm rolling. From the Westminster City Park in Westminster, Colorado, this is the 2022 USAFL Western Regional Championships. This is the final round of the Men's Division II between the Arizona Hawks and the Sacramento Suns. I'm Brian Barish. I don't know how much of this you're actually going to get to see because there is a storm coming and you can see it in the background here at Westminster Park. We have heard a little bit of thunder in the background and we are waiting. We're going to keep an eye on everything and just kind of see where we are. The Suns, as we bring up the scores here, they won over Denver 28 to 4 today and defeated Orange County 19 to 15. Arizona, meanwhile, lost to Orange County 27 to 15 and defeated the Denver Reserves 24 to 3. That one is sent towards the stick by. to an empty inside 50. Ball will come back the other direction. The wind and the rain starting to pick up just a little bit more. Now they come out the back. Long high kick up high to the near side. Ball goes through the hands. Picked up again by Rickard. One, two with McCray. Rickard has the ball and holding the punch. Sun him down. It'll be a free kick. Hunter Rickard, number 43 with the one ball. Loads up, right foot kick into the wind. Just out of the reach of one of the players there. Sends that one back in the other direction. Bounces in front. Bounces in front of uh, Aaron Miller. Handballed over to Darren Henderson. And the old man sends that one forward. Drops in front of Hutchings. Hutchings handballs it off. Long handball in finds Boyer. Tristan Boyer goes in short. Or rather goes long. High and deep. Goes out into the corner. Onto the wing. Here comes the box track in the other direction. They trail one nothing. Tipped off the top, and that's uh, Ryan Lewandowski who can't get to it. Neither can Aaron Miller. The ball right in front of Adam's camera, which goes off. He's always 
getting a little bit wet. A little Pittsburgh hand pass sent forward by Miller. All the play taking front, taking place right in front of us. And now they turn around. Long pass up over the top. Here come the Hawks. Here comes 54. I think that's uh, Andrew Wang from Las Vegas as it bounces free. And they got the handball off as there comes Barney. And the ball is out of bounds. It'll be a free kick. Thunder in the background, no lightning near us. We're gonna knock on wood at the moment. Like we said, we're in the hands of the officials. Meanwhile, Kate Barney comes in with a free kick and slots it through. So Arizona takes the lead. And we're gonna have to do everything by memory here because I think the scoreboards come down. Arizona one straight six, Sacramento one point. Well, the Bulldogs, or rather the Suns, meanwhile, as we take a look at the ladder, will tell you that a Suns victory here will give them their first championship in Division II in six years. If Arizona wins, then it would grow into percentage, but I think they would need to win by a lot. And then, of course, you have the Orange County Giants playing the uh, reserve the uh, Denver reserves over there, which haven't kicked even a goal yet. So still all to play for here as the weight range picks up. And here is Arizona now, and here is Barney who sends that one in. That one is knocked down, comes out to the near side. Over to get it is Castillo. Castillo turns it over. Player gets spun around, and it comes out to the near side. That one is chipped in. Here come the Suns. The Suns wearing the red and the yellow that wasn't paid. They got it away to McKechn. Picking it off was Hauptman. McKechn had it smothered. Over to get it again is uh, 12, who is believe is one of the Andersons, one of the uh, Vegas players. That one comes down. Ball is hit. And as the rain comes down a little bit stronger now, Rain is blown in from the mountains, and if you've watched the last couple of videos, you've been able to see it. Ball comes spinning, spinning, spinning back in the play. Popped up high in the air. Slapped forward. Here is Joey Ludo Stansky with a big kick, and that travels home. Joey Ludo Stansky threw the ball on the right foot, and it was like a big old rainbow through the raindrops, and the Hawks extend their lead. They go to two straight 12, Sacramento one behind. Well, I say this, this, none of this is over by any stretch of the imagination. Of course, we still have a water break coming. And of course, the water, like an actual water break and not the actual like rain that we have. Ball comes back in the air, knocked down. Sends that one a little chip pass. Ball gets shoved off the ball. Goes over, picked up by Nicholas Hall. Hall, little hand pass around. That's Joey Ludo. Ludo. Whoops. Chips that one up over the top. One on one cut. Oh, nice mark over the back. And it's taken by 41. And so, again, another one of the Gamblers players. And a dropped in front by Barney. No, it wouldn't have been Barney. Might have been Barry Mullen. The Hawks had a player who left with a broken leg in the second game, so they're missing somebody we're not sure who. Here comes Hutchings. Chipped it up over the top. Outright. The ball comes to ground. 
backs up. Here they come the other way. Turn that one on to the right. One-on-one -on -one contest. No, drop by Barney. Barney's able to get it on the second bite of the cherry. Stays in play. Gets away from Hutchings. And the ball rolls off of his leg and out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in directly in front of us. Keeping you, I guess, just abreast of the weather because we can feel it and you can't. It is spitting at the moment. It's been, I guess, kind of like this for like the last five minutes. The wind has not been as fierce as it was in the last game. Long handball back. Sacramento trying to push against the wind. Long kick. Lining up, one up. Oh, K was taken down. G-O-N-E gone. That'll be a free kick. I believe to Anderson. And that's going to be the drinks break. So we're going to go get some water and come right back with the score of the Arizona Hawks, two straight 12. The Sacramento Suns, one behind. You're watching the 2022 USAFL Western Regional Championships here on USAFL.com. Back underway, and in the minute that we have stepped aside for this water break, the rain has picked up even more. And it is coming. Oh, Lord, it is coming. The ball is on that far side. And they come out to the near side. And the mark is taken, I think, by one of the Ludos. Out to the near side, and it's going to be marked by uh, Anderson. Now it's pouring. Here we come. Okay. <laughs> Hi, so we're back uh, for the second half of this game of the 2022 USAFL Western Regional Championships. Uh, this game in Division Two between the Sacramento Suns and the Arizona Hawks. I'd love to tell you what the score is, but we've been undercover, uh, and uh, as I will, I might put a title card in and, or otherwise explain, uh, it was uh, raining cats, dogs, and pretty much every other animal under the sun. As you can see, there is uh, some uh, blue skies over in the back, and we will try our best to get the score for you at some point. But meanwhile, We've got the Arizona Hawks now kicking to the right of screen. Not only uh, did we not have a scoreboard, but uh, we were all undercover while the game the, the game happened during the rain. So, um, yeah. So here's Arizona with the ball. This is Joey Ludo, and it's going to be a free kick. You can see the mountains, which we could not see maybe about an hour ago before the rain score. We were, we were just talking with some of the people over here that this is the, the worst weather I remember as the ball slips through the hands of uh, uh, 12 as that one is sent back the other direction. It's the worst weather I remember at a USAFL event since we were in Colorado for nationals in 2009, or 2008 rather. Ball gets bundled around and then sent forward. Punched free. Controlled by 63, which is Caden Laffin. Laffin sends that one forward, and the ball's still in play. Going to get it there is Colin Murphy. Murphy dropped the pill, sends that one across, and it bounces in front of Aaron Miller. Miller, the ball goes out of bounds. Again, we're not sure what the score is at this point. Spinning back in the play. Oh, brilliant sunshine over the mountains. Tell you what, it's a good. If you're up in the mountains, the weather's beautiful, and the sun's starting to peek back out again here. So here is Darren Henderson who wins the free kick. Ball comes free out in the middle of the ground, and it's mark taken. That's Dodaro, sends that one forward, tipped off the top in the hands of Christian McCray. We 
have a free kick. It will go the way. Kristen Boyer, number four for Sacramento, kicks that one up to the near side. And the mark is taken by the 99, and that's Sovereign. So Sovereign goes back, kicks that one in short. That one comes out, and now it's picked up by John Sager. That one is chipped in. And here again is Laffin. Laffin sends that one up into the pocket. Goes free, picked up by one of the other Ludo Stansons. That's Riley Ludo Stanson. There's Riley, Ryan, and Joey Ludo Stanson. Now we see the sun start to come out a little bit more. Ball comes over. Sacramento trying to clear it out. Nice mark over the top. <coughs> and again, that's Lapa. Well, Adam on camera is taking down the sweatshirt, so it must mean hopefully. Yeah, a little sun. Oh, look at this. Well, well, you know, we had a couple of people over here, and of course you're from Colorado too, but we had a couple of people over here say, this is just one of those things that just blows through after 20 minutes, and that's kind of exactly what happened. It all comes back in the middle of the ground. We can hear some thunder, but that's coming from behind us. We don't think that's part of the play. As the ball can play continues, goes up, kept that one in. And uh, Jody Ludo, Joey Ludostansky is playing soccer, but putting the kibosh on that is uh, Tristan Boyer. Boyer sends that one to off his left, finds the field of play, and as McEachern gives chase, it's out of bounds. We are inching towards the water break of the second half. Each team gets a minute to take in some fluids and it definitely has cooled the rain has cooled the weather off that one's thrown out on the right sailing towards the sticks it's marked dead in front and it is Matt Hop. so Hoffman will go back and slot it through so a goal for the Sun as we said, we'll check the score at the end of once once we go into the, the break. The ball's going to come back in the middle of the ground. Sacramento, if they win this game, then they will win Division Two. They won it in 2015 when they hosted it. They won it again in 2016 when it was in Salem, Oregon. And what was a in both cases it was a three-team round robin. With four teams here in Division Two, a team that has won Division Three National Championship in 2014, made it to the Grand Final, and lost to Quebec in 2015. And that one is sent in, and then sent back the other way. Ball comes up. That one is oh, as, as Henderson, and I think that might be kicking in danger as he threw the ball in. So it'll be a free kick. This is 36, which is Dean Lucas. Lucas goes out to the far side where it's marked. Sends that one in. Goes in. And that's going to be held up by Aaron Miller. Ball goes back in the air. And we have a whistle, and it'll be a free kick. So it'll be a free kick, and it will go the way of John Thomas Lloyd, number 28, sending that one in. It's going to be picked off by the Hawks. They come out to the near side. Ball goes high up in the air. And here the other way comes Greg Dodaro. That one is hand up over the top. Knock three. Hunter Rickard is there. Kicked that one directly into the shins of uh, Toby Simmons. And that one is sent the other way. 
Ball goes up high. That bounce is free. Over to get it and sending that one back the other way. It'll roll. It'll it'll stop in the wet grass. They just got it away. Here's Sheik Simmons. And it's marked. And I think that's where we're going to do, well, no, it's going to be a free kick. All on the far side, crash boom opera on the wing position. Ball comes down loose. And it's head back over the top. Sent in, it's up high, marked by Joey Ludo Stansky. And that's gonna be our water break. Well, we're gonna check the score for the reason we mentioned. We, the scoreboard uh, is not up. It got taken down in the rain. But we'll figure that out when we return for the conclusion of this game. You're watching the 2022 USAFL Central Regional, uh, Western Regional Championships here on USAFL.com. All right, we are back. Whew. 21 to 12, Sacramento the lead. And they are, after being down in the first half, uh, they are uh, just about 10 minutes away from winning the Division II Men's Regional Championship. Ball goes down, up on that far side. And picked up, sends that one inside. Marked, I believe by K. That should be 50, and it won't be, because I'll say it was just a, not a continuation of the play, but that, uh, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, basically there was nothing, nothing extracurricular in that. So here is Kay, sends that one on the way, and it's knocked down in front, stays in play. Arizona trails by nine. And it's marked. Marked by McEachern. They're saying he went off the mark, and he's moved the, yeah, he's telling him he needs to move the mark over. He tried to move in a little too much. He sends that one on the way. Looks good off the boot. And it comes down the ground. Tries, oh, what a great job by Joey Ludo Stansky. And it's holding the ball is the call. It's a free kick. Well, this has been a wild game of which most some of it we've actually seen Sacramento trailing 12 to 1 when the rain hit and now they lead 21 to 12 they have scored really all those points I think have come no they were up one to nothing that one is picked off and here they are the way they come sending that one in digging in after it is Lucas Hopman Lucas Hopman has it he looks like Bailey Smith sends that one in on the left Skips through over into the over into the middle, spinning away, sending that one forward was Casey Campbell. Ball goes up high. We haven't called his name too much today, Campbell, as the ball bounces into the pocket. Taken down is Barry Mullen for Arizona. They trail, like I said, they trail by nine, 21 to 12. Sends that one back. And the ball goes to ground once again. Empire says it's a free kick and it's going the way of the Sacramento Suns holding the ball. Now go in the middle. Two on one. Hotman. That Hotman. Excuse me while I kiss the sky, as our friend Grillo likes to say. And he'll go back and try and extend the lead, which sits at nine points. One plays two straight. Of course, we have that one game going on on the other field between the Denver Reserves. And we've got a little bit of a I think the player has a cramp down there, one of the Arizona players. We mentioned there was a serious leg injury that one of their players suffered earlier. I think this is way less serious. Now is Peter Abernathy. So we are set to continue. We've got the uh, 
Orange County Giants and the Denver the Bulldogs reserve. Meanwhile, that one is sent on the way. Yeah. It fades left and it goes left. You get sweaty though? And uh, it has gone straight out on the full. So a good result for Arizona, trailing by nine points. Put this one in. Arizona made their comeback in 2017. They were really out of uh, out of sorts for about six years. They won the Division Three National Championship in 2011, defeating Atlanta, then faded off the map for a couple of years. And then it was Jason Wilhelm as uh, it could have gotten pushed in the back. It wasn't as uh, Spirit as probably could have appealed that. It's picked up by Alex Fernandez. Fernandez is taken down. That one is handballed out to uh, Tapoletti. Tapoletti. Can't get that one free. That one is heading back. And then, wow, as Hodgkins shoved through a couple of players there. And wow, it is now getting physical and chippy uh, now. My goodness, what is happening? As that one is put in, a little chip kick over the middle by Baramond. Ball comes down. A lot of pushing. I saw some slapping in there. It's, it's not. It is unraveling. Here's that one on to the left. We've had it all. We've had four seasons in a day, as they would say. It's been a, almost like a perfect Melbourne day. It's been hot. It's been chilly. It's been rainy. It's been windy. I mean, there's a lot of people here from Melbourne, Australia. And I'll tell you, they probably are thoroughly enjoying this, although I mean, it's good footy weather and it's a little cooler. Typoletti handballs it back to Dawson. Dawson sends it, scribbles it forward. And we have holding the ball, free kick. Umpire Ryan Minmeyer. This is Fernandez, I believe. Sends that one forward. Up high. The other direction. Gonna be picked up and ball goes to ground. Chipped it over the top. This is Barney. Barney handballs it out to the near side. Finds McCray. McCray sends it forward. They need a goal here. No one's gonna roll, it's gonna skip, and it's gonna go out of bounds in front of Julian David and Wyatt Glaze. 21 12 the score. Three three plays two straight. Sacramento leading Arizona. If this result holds, Sacramento will win the Division II championship. If Arizona comes from behind, it'll be thrown in the mass chaos. As the ball goes to ground, Sacramento, I think, has a pretty decent percentage lead. But of course, you still have the uh, specter of that other game happening. If Orange County wins, then they go to two and one. A lot of pushing and shoving going on behind the play. And this is, the heat has turned up on this somewhat considerably. Just got the handball away. Ball goes to ground. Picked up and spinning around is Dodaro. He sends that one up high, punched free. Long kick inside 50. Ball bounces away. And it's through the hands of one of the players there. Picked up by Kay. Long handball in. Able to kick that one away and over to get it. I think that's Zarnoski. And now, oh, he's taken down. That's got to be holding the ball. And it is. And Zarnoski was taken down. He didn't like it. Or, or, or no, he's going to be saying it's high. That's what happened. I thought it was holding the ball. I didn't see that it was high, but it bounces into the hands of Fernandez. Al, uh, Arizona desperately trying to get the ball forward. The defending Division Three national champions. Ball goes to ground. That one is flipped up to the near side. Here and picking that one up, and a great job by Lucas Hopman, who sends that one into the pocket. Ball squirrels free. Over to get it, there is Henderson. Henderson with a big swing and a miss, and that's going to be called holding the ball. It'll be a free kick for Sacramento, and they'll have a chance to put the game away. Free kick will go, it looks like, to Chris Gould. I always think of Elliot Gould when I see, think of Chris Gould. I don't know. So Gould will line up with his team leading 21 to 12. And this would put the game away, you would think. Gould strides forward, ball is on the way, he shanks it to the right, and the ball is still in play, and the ball goes out of bounds. Can't be a whole heck of a lot of time left. It's a nine-point game. Ball 
Ball goes to ground. <laughs> and it's up on the far side now, and overrunning it was uh, was Goodwin. Oh, big shove off the ball, sent forward. Ball bounces free, picked up by Fernandez. He turns around on a dime, lost the football, however, as uh, uh, Nico Capriano was in there. And a whistle and a free kick. 21 to 12 the score, Sacramento trying to hang on to win the Division II title. As you can see now in the background how clear and blue the skies are, and you can see the sun reflecting off the mountains. Now it's beautiful. It was a, uh, it's a bright difference from how the weather was 20 minutes ago when it was, uh, as a friend of mine used to say, pretty biblical. I almost thought I saw Noah coming down. And that is that. And the Sacramento Suns are your 2022 USAFL Western Regional Champions as they have defeated the Arizona Hawks 21 to 12, and they finish with an unblemished record of three and zero. Oh. Great job by the Suns, and a great feather in the cap for head coach Fasundo Way as the Suns win their first regional title in six years and their third overall. That'll do it for this one. Remember, you can follow all the happenings of the USAFL on our website, usafl.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash usafl, and on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at usafl1997. For Adam, our cameraman, I'm Brian Barish saying so long for now.